Um, Cap, do you want to start the prayer of just a praying a prayer of blessing? I know there's a lot of business yeah. owners in the chat. If you're a business owner in the chat, type one. And I want to make sure that, and again, we're not going to say everybody's name here in the chat and all that, but just let us know you're in here. I want to pray for specifically, I'll have you Cap as well, praying for business owners because I do believe, yes. you guys don't have to agree yes. with me, there is a supernatural blessing that God wants to release on your business. Maybe you have an Amen. Etsy store, maybe you have a TikTok shop, maybe you have an air conditioning company, maybe you have an electrical company. I do believe that God will supernaturally increase you in favor, increase you in blessing, and all of a sudden your business is the number one search on Google and you're the one they keep calling and you Hallelujah. have too much business that you can't even do anything with. So we're definitely gonna Hallelujah. pray for all the business owners and people in the chat that yeah. need that breakthrough. Yeah, last thing I would say, just as a disclaimer, Isaiah nor I will ever DM anybody Preach. asking for you to fund our orphanages. Thank you. Thank you. Never going to happen. Scammers. Okay. Don't listen to the scammers. You guys need to have some discernment, y'all. Yeah. If, if their name is spelled Isaiah with ones and not with eyes, that's not really it's Isaiah. A scammer. It's if, a scammer. If, they, if mine is Cap Chaffield and not Chat Chatfield, that is not me. Okay. So have discernment and hear it from us first. We will never, uh, what's the word? Uh, what what's that word well ne we're just never going to ask for it in the dm bro so, this is a true story just, i have know. to tell you this true story somebody wrote me and said i gave 500 dollars to your ministry last night blah 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 and we've been talking for months and I, and i felt so bad i said that wasn't me they sent me the link i'm like that was a complete scammer they sent me the instagram page this is a true story guys they sent me the instagram page of the person they gave to not only was it spelled completely wrong in my profile i don't know if you've seen my instagram i have an emoji of like well i used to have an emoji of like a guy and a girl holding hands and it was like married, right? It's like an emoji of two married couples holding yeah. hands. And then under that, I had four girls and I'm like, girl, dad, I had like emojis, right? The emoji on this profile was two guys. They messed it up no. and they put two, <laughs> bro. It was two guys, emo two guy emojis <laughs> holding hands. And I'm not lying to you, four black kids, four black kid emojis. <laughs> and I told the person, I'm like, how did you fall for that? It was two guys oh, holding hands and four no. black kids. And you thought that was my profile. But it's so sad and I oh, I kid you not, Jesus. tens of thousands of dollars have been scammed from people. Guys, don't don't go to the our pages have blue check marks for a reason. We got those check marks so you know that we're verified and that, oh, you know, I'm not married to a man. I don't have four kids that are black. So you guys need to be paid attention to who you're sending money to. We're not gonna message you, beloved. I have a word for you. It's like, if the English is broken, guys, I use Grammarly. When I text and when I email, oh, I use Grammarly. Gosh. My grammar's perfect, not because it's perfect, because of the program. So don't believe these scammers that are writing you saying, beloved, the Lord showed me in a dream or vision, and I have a yeah. word for you. I could go on with stories. I won't humor you guys anymore. Go for it, bro. Um, or if I if I ever so. use beloved in a text, I'd rather yeah, drive no, my head through a wall. No. It's just, it's not all right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read some scripture and we're basically going to pray this scripture because the word of God good. never returns void. Deuteronomy 28. If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully keep all his commands that I am giving you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the world. You'll experience all of these blessings if you obey the Lord your God. Your towns and your fields will be blessed. Your children and your crops will be blessed. The offspring of your herds and flocks will be blessed. Your fruit baskets and breadboards will be blessed. Wherever you go and whatever you do, you will be blessed. The Lord will conquer your enemies when they attack you. They will attack you from one direction, but they will scatter from you in seven. And in that in that light, a light of that story, Father, for every person that's felt robbed, for every person that's felt scammed, for every come person on. that the devil has come yes. against their finances, we thank you, Lord, that the promise is that they that devil would be sent in seven different directions. And we know in Proverbs that the thief is required to return sevenfold everything that they've stolen. I pray that for every single person in the chat right now. If you receive it right now in the chat, just say, I receive receive it i receive it if if that was you if you feel like you have just been robbed from the devil with medical bills met i'm telling you that's one of the th the tactics of the yep. devil he wants to attack your health because then he can attack your finances and that's how he destroys you it ends today in jesus mighty name we reject the devil and we submit under the mighty hand of god the lord will guarantee a blessing on everything you do 
and will fill your storehouses with grain. The Lord your God will bless you in the land he is giving you. If you obey the commands of the Lord your God and walk in his ways, the Lord will establish you as his holy people, as he swore he would do. Then all the nations of the world will see that you are a people claimed by the Lord, and they will stand in awe of you. Father, I thank you for every business person in the chat, every business owner, every employee, every contractor, every yes. stay-at-home mom with a side hustle. I thank you, God, that this, this blessing, this covenant belongs to us. Doesn't matter if we're Jew or Gentile, because by faith, we have been grafted into the family of Abraham and everything that belonged to him, everything that belonged to Isaac, everything that belonged to Jacob belongs to us by the merit of us being your kids. And so today, God, I thank you for the blessing. I thank you for the blessing that already exists and that your people are coming into agreement with the covenant that you've already spoken, that you've already established. I thank you, God, yes. that this week, will be a week of breakthrough for people who've been experiencing friction, who've been feeling like they're sowing two and reaping one, sowing 10 and reaping one. This will be a week of acceleration as they come into alignment with your spirit. They sow one, they reap five. They sow one, they reap 10. They sow one, they reap a hundred in the mighty name of Jesus. We yes. thank you, God. That there's going to be there's going to be a chiropractic realignment for your people today that they are going to they, they've been one degree off two degrees off of the assignment that you've given them you've given them clear direction in a lack of faith they have mixed the message and the direction with worldly wisdom with carnal wisdom how am i going to make this work they've made an ishmael out of the vision that you've given them for their business Good, like i on. did lord and today they are coming back and believing by faith that you are actually good enough to bring the thing to pass. I thank you, Lord, that for, for everybody listening right now, the days of hoping, praying to God for finances are over are Come over on. in Jesus name that they will spend more time praying for the needs of others than themselves because their needs will be met to overflowing in Jesus name. I yes. thank you, God, that your word says that he and she who delight in the Lord shall receive the desires of their heart. I thank you, God, that you are causing your people even right now to dream bigger. Their hearts are expanding. Their minds are expanding. They are tapping into the imagination of God and not their own carnal imagination. What could they possibly put together by the strength of the arm of the flesh but what happens when god breathes on this they are coming into a place of dreaming the dreams that you have for them god i thank you lord for wisdom from on high to be problem solvers in the marketplace for those of for the people in the chat right now who are not business owners but they are employees i thank you god that there's a mantle of joseph there's an anointing of daniel on their lives to be problem solvers for the king in jesus mighty name that favor will follow them all of the days of their life that every closed door must open for them in jesus mighty name that they are yes. no longer going to be the overlooked christian but they will be a christian that is undeniable Undeniable, that their presence is undeniable because everywhere they go, everything gets better because God is with them. I thank you, Lord, for that anointing and that favor. And I thank you, Lord, for the testimonies that are coming back this next week. People who have just lost their job, I thank you, God, that it is a promotion in the spirit. A better one is coming in Jesus' mighty yes, name. Yes. The one that aligns with their gifting, the one that works better with their schedule, the one that gives them more time with their kids, the one that gives them more time at church, and the one that that pays them better and where they can make a more eternal impact that is coming for them this week father i pray for emails text messages calls to flood in that open up the window of opportunity for your people in jesus mighty name before you come back god i thank you that your people will be a peculiar people a city on a hill a light that cannot be dimmed that the world while the world is crying out for economic prosperity economic breakthrough the the people of God, your children, will be the answer for this generation in Jesus' mighty name. Yeah, somebody in the chat said, Amen. I'd feel so convicted if I prayed for finances. You should feel convicted if you don't, respectfully, because the Bible tells us to, that God will bless us. We have not because we ask not. And the Bible actually has mm. people that prayed for a financial breakthrough. I would not pray for finances if the Bible did not teach us to. But again, I would I would encourage you to go back to all the verses we gave. The Lord wants to bless you. There's nothing wrong with praying it. In fact, 
I'm gonna lead you guys through the prayer of Jabez, which Jabez prayed this, and this was his prayer, and then I'll, I'll have you repeat after me. He said, Lord, this is uh, 1 Chronicles 4, 9. He said, Lord, bless me and expand my territory. Be with me in everything I do and keep me from trouble and pain. So I want you guys to repeat after me. I want you to say, Lord, bless me Lord, and expand my territory. And so expand just my territory. everybody in the chat, pray that. And then I want you to say, Lord, please be with me in all that I do. Lord, please be with me in all that I do. And then last thing you're gonna say is, Lord, keep me from all trouble and all pain. Lord, keep me from all trouble and from all pain. And guys, this is what the Bible says. It says, and God granted his request. He prayed that. <laughs> and the Lord said, Jeez. that's a prayer I like. I'm gonna answer that prayer. Why would God not do it in you today? Is not God the same yesterday, today, and forever? Are we not in a better covenant? How much more would God answer our prayer when we're in a better covenant? So Father, we pray that there would be an overflow. As you said, Jesus, you said that you would give us an overflow in our finances if we sow and if we give. And the amount that we're given is the amount that we sow. And God, I pray overflow in people today. I pray, Lord, those of you that are trying to get a job, type one in the chat. If you are trying to get a new job or you transition, I want you to type one in the chat. I am praying, I just had this visual, that the, you that you have your resume and a stack of resumes, I pray that your resume would stand out. I pray your resume would glow. I pray that CEO of the company that's looking at your resume would say, this person's not even qualified. They don't even have this certification, but for some reason, I really like them and I'm gonna hire them. I pray supernatural favor in your application, in your resume, in your business, in your finances, breakthrough. And I even pray, Lord, help us with our work ethic. Guys, honestly, some of us yeah. Christians, we have poor work ethic. That's not okay. We should be the first ones at work and the last ones at work. We should be the ones with the most work ethic. We have God inside of us. How much work ethic should we have? Faithfulness is our character. That's consistency. And when you're back and forth sleeping in, not showing up to work, that's not faithfulness. That's not being faithful. We need to be men of our word, women of our word, and faithful. So I pray, Lord, that you would release work ethic. I pray, Lord, you'd release conviction over some of us that have terrible work ethic. And I pray that Christians would be the most desirable people to hire. That jobs would say, oh, you're a Christian, you're hired. Christians are the hardest workers. They're the ones that are always there. They're the ones that are, man, I'm hiring you if you're a Christian. I pray, Lord, let us be those that work harder than anybody else. God, let us be those, as Paul said, somebody that doesn't have, a man that doesn't have a job and provide for his family, he's worse than an unbeliever. God, I don't wanna be that guy. I wanna be a hard worker. I wanna do, do it excellent. Whatever I do, I do unto the Lord. Whatever I'm doing, I'm doing unto the Lord. So Father, I pray, release that work ethic. And I wanna pray one last thing. I pray that, Lord, you would drive out the spirit of poverty from our lives. I pray, God, Thank that you, you would Lord. drive out Jesus. that spirit of Midian, that Midianite spirit. The Bible says the Midianites would come and the seed would grow and they would destroy the harvest and they would wait for the seed to grow. And some of you feel like, man, I can't get ahead, but God is gonna drive out that Midianite spirit. God's gonna drive out the Midianites. I pray that, Lord, you would break the power. I pray, Lord, you'd break the power of poverty in our generational bloodline. I pray that the generational curse of poverty would be broken, that you will not be poor just because your parents were poor, your grandparents were poor, your great year. We come out of agreement with the curse of poverty and we come into agreement with the blessings of God. The blessing, God said, I will enrich you so that I can fulfill my covenant with Abraham. And as Cap said, we are, we are children of Abraham because of our faith. We've been grafted in. And so Lord, I pray blessing, blessing, blessing. You would release it, God, supernatural. Do what only you can do, God. Do it according to your word. We bless everybody listening. We just pray, God, right now in our finances that there would be supernatural prosperity and blessing in our health, in our finances, in our soul, in our, uh, in our emotion. Lord, that you would bless people tonight you. because your word says you will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Man, Amen. what a great broadcast. Hallelujah. We definitely need to do, we're like almost two hours in. We definitely need to do a part two. 